Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. A quarter inch is thick, seven foot tall. Okay, so you've built a, how wide is the door? Uh, I can't quite remember. They're not, they're not 36, because this was a paired unit. So a little bit smaller, two foot six, yeah, two yeah, foot eight. Yeah, yeah, it's a smaller. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's. Uh, I don't think it's over. Th this guy's forever changing his doors on me. Let me look here. See if I can find the original. I'm trying to remember which one it was because he had like three phases, and I don't know what phase this one was in. And they make me crazy. Let's see here. Of course, my salesman's away from his desk for me to ask. Let's see here. Who said he could leave? <laughs> well, he's actually downstairs with a client, you know. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm up here. He's, he goes, research this. Because I said, well, we just got to give him a floor pivot. He goes, well, you're a bit, we've already machined the doors for mortise hinges, so they want to hide that. I went, well, that right. sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and well, I don't know. You know yeah. It's, it's okay, so let's. Let's assume it's two foot eight, something like that. So the door yeah. is not going to be especially heavy. It's a style and rail door. What is? Oh yeah, is it's it a like race a panel alder door. Race oh yeah, they're, okay. they're, they were gorgeous doors. Trust me. Okay, so the what I don't like is that you've put hinges on the door in the sense of probably top, middle, bottom. Is that correct? Oh yeah, that's the way it was standardly mortised. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, thinking. Okay. I'm thinking the door. That they're doing, if he said the paired unit, and it is actually two six by seven six door, two and a quarter inches thick. That door weighs a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure it does, um, yeah. but I'm not thinking it's. Um, I'm not thinking that door is actually going to be north of 150 pounds. No, no, um, no, no, no. Because no. you know, Naughty Alder is is not is really not that heavy and not, you know, it's a great wood. Um, oh, it's heavy. <laughs> I've lifted them. They're heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, so, can, they can average, you know, they can average, you know, I think a 2.6 by 7.0 weighs, you know, pretty good chunk of chain. You got a 2.6 by 7.0 by itself weighs 60 pounds. Right. So that, that's a two-panel raised panel. So an 8.0 door, about 75 pounds. So, yeah, they're not, and they're not 100 pounds each, so. So... The the thirty forty four hinge that you had mentioned that is a clamp style hinge, yeah. which means it's going to look like um, death warmed over. It's going to look oh horrible. yeah yeah, and and you got to understand where this door is going. This door is going into a famous famous uh, um, comedian's house. <laughs> okay, so but the thirty twenty nine won't accommodate that that thick a door though, will it? Well, okay, so the 3044, they can make that clamp where you can slide a two and a quarter inch door into the clamp. Now, yeah. here's here's the way we do it on the west side, so to speak. <laughs> Consider a 3029, eight inch, that will go up to go go up to uh, two inch thick. Now, okay. Imagine in your mind's eye if you took your router and you skimmed an eighth of an inch off. Uh -huh. and right where the barrel's got to nestle over it uh -huh. and bought a Bada bing, you're in good shape. Oh wow! Because the, see, the contractor is going to have to do that on site because the well, house is in Jackson, Wyoming. <laughs> and I'm in so Hamilton, he, Montana. I ain't doing it for him. <laughs> yeah, I, well, it's an easy fix. Well, the he's going to have to. The, yeah, third of the cost. Yeah, third of the cost, less than that. Oh well, you know, you have been absolutely marvelous. Let me talk to Ryan on this. And now it'll, it'll take a while to get these in, like an oil rub bronze, won't it? I don't believe so, ma'am. Let me just check and see. We should have 3029 and an 8 and a 640. Now, obviously, I'd like to see you go with something super elegant like an overhead concealed closer, you know, that sort of business. But I don't know um, what they're doing. They just told me they wanted to make this paired unit a double-acting unit now. So it's like these are the only things that I think, the only type of hands we think we could use that would hold hide the mortising on yeah, the, yeah. the side. Because with me, I would have done it because they had a, another double acting door, and I just put a real nice heavy duty floor pivot system in it. You know, that would be nice smooth acting for them. And then they changed their mind on this, so this is just going to be a slap back. Thing. But that's about all I could do with it. I'm going to tell them, you know, this is all we can do with him changing. So, yeah. So there, there's there's actually a more elegant way to do it as well. You would still kind of have to mortise the door to shrink that thickness around to get the yeah. barrels over it, but 
Bomber makes a version of the 8-inch that will have a 4.5-inch templated hinge leaf. Okay. So, so it'll make the installation even easier in the sense that at least you can kind of reuse part of the mortise. The downside is they don't stock a, a oil rubbed at all in either variant. They do stock a prime coat, so if someone wanted to get, you know, fancy with their painting and to make it okay. look oil rubbed, otherwise the lead time is about three weeks. Yeah, because all their all their hinges are, are Hager oil rub bronze hinges. Is all their, the hinges in the house? So, okay, I will tell the contractor this. I will tell my door salesman this, and we'll take it from there. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your help. Bye bye. Bye bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.